Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanna talk about how you can make daily sales on Poshmark. This is probably one of my top asked questions that I get on Instagram, on my Facebook group, everywhere. People wanting to know, how do you get to a point where you get daily sales on Poshmark? So I'm gonna give you five tips today that can help you start working toward making your sales more consistent. So the first tip is going to be to list. Ideally, like I cannot stress this enough, ideally you want to be listing stuff every day. And I know that that's not doable for some people, but like if you have multiple items, then you need to photograph these items and say, say you photograph 20 items in one day, space that out and list those over the course of like three days if you know you're not going to be able to list anymore. Like if you, like don't list all 20 items in one day knowing that the next couple days you're not gonna be able to photograph or get anything ready to list. You need to space that out over as many days as you know that you're not gonna be able to photograph and list. You wanna list as much as you can. Uh, but you know, we all have lives, we all have things that we have to do, some of us have other jobs. Uh, you have to space your stuff out to where you can list a few items a day. Uh, try to list at least five a day. So technically, if you had 20 items, you could spread that out over four days and list five items a day. I say five items because that's when I really notice that traffic starts to pick up. When I list five things, if I list anything below five things, I don't really notice anything happening. So list five things per day at least. My second tip for you is to share. And I know like this seems like kind of a common sense thing, but you have to be sharing your items and you also have to be sharing other people's items. Poshmark was very much based on community. It was built on community and they want you to share each other's this is why I have my share group uh, that I have along with my Posh Boss Mentor group so that you can share each other's items and that helps you on Poshmark. That helps you in your algorithm and you have to be consistent with it. So you also have to be consistent with sharing your own items. Like you have to share your own items to keep them active, so to speak. But when you share your items, it pushes them to the top of the search results. So anybody searching for those items at that time, your item's gonna be at the top of those search results. That's why I recommend sharing your own closet at least three times a day to keep your listings seen. My third tip for you is to become Posh Ambassador. And I get so many comments about people Thinking that Posh Ambassador is a bad thing and I don't really understand that. Uh, being a Posh Ambassador basically means that you have met all the criteria and that you are a quote unquote certified seller in Poshmark's eyes. You know, they don't call it that. They call it Poshmark Ambassador. But that means they trust you. That means that you have done all of these things to establish yourself as a trustworthy seller and they are backing you. So whenever you become Posh Ambassador, that's gonna improve your visibility and that's gonna start to get you more followers on Poshmark and then that's gonna make you look even more trustworthy as a seller. It's gonna have kind of the snowball effect. So you absolutely want to become a Poshmark Ambassador. Uh, the list is within the app, so if you have not yet accomplish that you need that is something that you need to be working toward and those are things that you need to be doing every day even after you become a Poshmark ambassador you still need to be doing those things every day my fourth tip for you is to evaluate your inventory I want you to go through your closet and I want you to look at stuff that you have for sale and I want you to be like is this something that I would buy online is this something that somebody else really wants uh, is this something that maybe isn't in the best condition? Is this something that's maybe outdated? Ask yourself all of these questions and you know, really evaluate if this is something that you need in your closet or if you really need to focus more on what you're sourcing 
for your closet. I have all my sourcing guides and everything linked below. And then that includes my Posh Boss mentor group and my share group as well. So I'll put that in the description box for you guys. That will really teach you what you need to be prioritizing and listing in your closet because there are some things that you really shouldn't be listing in your closet. Like, you know, the 15 year old Hollister t-shirt probably doesn't need to go in your closet. So, you know, that's probably something that you want to go and donate. Just really go through your inventory and evaluate what you have and ask yourself how you could do better. And in addition to that, also look at your sold listings. Look at items that you are selling and you know, look at patterns. See if you notice any specific items that you sold a lot of that maybe you could add more of. So my next tip for you is to participate in the posh parties. And I know that this is like, it depends on what your lifestyle is like, whether you have another job or whether, you know, what you have kids that you have to put to bed. But it's really important that you participate in your in the posh parties, especially during the day. If you have items that fit the theme of the parties, you need to be sharing those to the posh party because that's how they're going to get seen. Um, that's also going to help your algorithm. It's going to help your visibility. It's going to help other people to see you. So definitely share those to the parties priority you need to be participating in the last party of the evening so that is the biggest party that is when the most people are active on the app uh it's when the people are shopping people shop at night guys like some people shop during the day a lot of people shop at night when they're at home they're off work they're on their couch they're just like browsing through poshmark they want to buy something that's when you need to be active in the app and you need to be sharing your own listings you need to be sharing other people's listings i've said this before but i try to go through the party and share at least 250 of other people's items other people's items not my own other people's i'll go through each tab the main tab the host pick tab the designer tab uh the new with tag tab like you can filter by brands you can however you want to do it just share 250 items and then I especially share the host picks and I have actually gotten a host pick from sharing the host picks so you know that's something that you need to be working on as well because that will give you visibility for your Poshmark closet so I hope these help you um, you definitely need to be focusing on establishing a routine for yourself if you want to see these consistent daily sales so definitely check out everything down in the description box below and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Uh, if you're new here, I hope that you will subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.